right in the midst of his prime. And, and you know, at each fight you have, you have to continue to get better and better and better. You know, it doesn't stop. You know, you have to master your craft. And I believe that Akahas is finally both of them were scheduled eight rounders really early in his career, so he was really put in a bad spot as we take a look at some of the best action from the previous round. See, and Kajas is a natural counterpuncher. You see, he got saw the solid sparring in the Philippines leading up to this fight, and especially at the tail end of his training camp, knowing that he had to... St right there from Gonzalez who uh, I was watching some of his fights in Chile and, and the Chilean commentators were saying he's so good when he boxes but he loves to be on the inside and right nice shot to the body there the solar plexus from rounds of this scheduled 12 round fight almost a clash of heads right there he landed and it really didn't have a whoa it didn't have a whole lot of effect like he wanted it to. So he's kind of taking this round off. Oh, nice right hand there from Jerwin Ancajas to close out this fifth round. We're going to schedule 12 rounds. Right, Speaking of him on these fight cards because he always seems to deliver. And that's what he expects from Jerwin Ancajas, who's landed at 12 out of 133 jabs. Well below landed for his opponent, Miguel Gonzalez. That's not going to cut it against a fighter like Jerwin Ancajas. No, it's not. But do you see what Ancajas is doing right now? He's being a bully. Normally, he likes to fight off the back foot. He's actually pressing the action, ladies and gentlemen. He's actually looking for the knockout. This is... But yeah, I mean, he wants to put on a show. He wants 15 pounds that he, he is a force to be reckoned with. And boy, there's a lot of talent at that. Derwin Ancajas, you could hear it. And that's really wearing down Miguel Gonzalez. But, you know, it's just it's just not a body shot to just thrown. It's a, it's, a, it's a perfectly placed body shot. Like, he sees the opening, and he's attacking it. And he's digging. He's punching through the ribs of oh. his opponent. Nice uppercut, and his opponent is hurt. And here comes Jerwin Ancajas trying to finish Miguel Gonzalez here in round six of this world championship fight. Gonzalez holding on for dear life. And down he goes, but it's not a knockdown. Very smart from Gonzalez. Very, very smart from Gonzalez. Ooh, Jerwin Ancajas swings and misses, but Gonzalez is not well. His legs are wobbly, and the left of the shot. It would have been better for him to go down, because if not, Wayne Hedgepeth had no choice but to stop this fight. That's right. You know, sometimes when you hurt fighters, we just tend to go to, to the danger. You know, sometimes you got to be in there thinking. Take the knee. Recover. Allow yourself another chance, a fighting chance, to come back and turn the tide. We talk about the lack of experience in big fights, and that yeah. may have come back to haunt Miguel Gonzalez. When he was hurt, if he goes down by those shots, that's fine. Or even takes a knee. Take the knee. But instead, he gets pummeled. I've been in fights where, where I knew I was hurt, and I knew if I got hit with one more big shot, that I need to take that knee before that shot happens. That would have been a perfect time right there for Gonzalez to take the knee. He just allowed Ancajas to continue to tee off without throwing a single punch. This was smart. He took Ancajas down with them. Wayne Hedgepeth said it's not a knockdown. Right. But then what happened after that, Tim, was lack of experience. Definitely lack of experience, Bernardo. But you see Ancajas just letting his hands go. Just waiting for the referee to step in and do his... Ladies and gentlemen, the official time, 1 minute 53 seconds of round number 6. El Ganador for Knockout Technical, the winner by way of Technical Knockout, Axu World Champion, Iahun El Campeon, Sherwin, Pretty Boy,